um, that's a uh, bacopa growing out of the water. Um, showing you guys, I'm gonna show you guys this stuff here. I haven't done a water change of this tank in two weeks. I was gonna do it earlier this week, but I, f I just didn't have the time. So this hasn't had um, the weekly maintenance. I'm gonna do it probably later today or tomorrow. And um, what happens is that this stuff, um, which I think is green hair string algae, just starts to go, just starts to take over the bottom of this tank. Is that? It's just, I mean, it it does add like a different green green shade to the tank. I mean, from 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 out here, it doesn't look too bad. But um, the thing is, like, all that stuff, like, even the shrimps can't like if there's food that gets in inside there, the shrimp can't even like won't even go near it. Like, they get trapped. Like, the shrimps gets and the fish, like they get trapped by the uh, this that that string, like the string, like traps the the shrimps and the fish. Like, look at that guy. Like they they don't like that out. They don't like it. Like it just creates like a carpet, like a net almost. So it's not really. I wouldn't mind it if it didn't do that, but I. It's just not, it traps the food and the shrimps can't really get inside it because they're afraid or something. So I, I need to like, see like that shrimp is like, it's not really inside the thing, it's kind of just outside grazing, grazing on, on top of that algae. And it's also like, I'm not sure, but it, it might also be choking the um, HC from a uh, like covering it up with from getting light so I think you definitely need to like take it out and the only way I can take this out is by cutting it because I can't really pull it out because it pulls out the it, it's clinging to that HC which has really delicate little roots so if I pull it it'll pull the HC and I did that and that's what happens to it when you pull the thing so that's why that area is doesn't have any HC on it because I I was pulling that stuff and it like pulled the clump off the gravel so I just had to take it out instead of I, I tried to replant some stuff there but um green string hair algae sucks and it's the only thing that this is the only problem with this tank otherwise this tank is like perfect like the fish like the f kind of fish that I have here and the shrimps all get along really well like these endlers are really fine they get along with the shrimps and the cardinal tetras get along fine with the shrimps like they don't even eat the baby shrimps and the autos obviously get along with everyone and so I have endlers Cardinals and autos, autosynclesis here, and and uh, I guess those are red shrimps, red cherry shrimps. I also have some orange shrimps here, and they've I think they've just like interbred. But I guess when an orange shrimp in breeds with a red shrimp, the babies end up being red. They don't come out like orange. Anyway, I I really. Like this stuff is the only thing that's wrong with this tank and I think I'm not sure if it's from I'm not sure if it's because this tank is next to the window and it's getting like a lot of light like too much light extra light Because the other tank also gets this and it's not by the window so my only the only other thing I can think of is that I like something got introduced into this tank which I think might be when I uh, put a house plant one of those house plants like a vine plant so maybe something from that from that house plant like in the soil like pores of the green hair algae was in there and it got introduced into the tank so 
Cause this, cause green string hair algae is, um, that stuff is like something you would see in a pond, like an outdoor pond. And you would never even like see it. It wouldn't be that obvious because it's obviously, you can only see a pond from above. But in like a, in an aquarium indoors, like to see this is strange because it's it's not getting that much light. And there's also other plants here to like balance out the nutrients or whatever. I mean, these are like high demanding. Like this is a high demanding plant, which is growing fine, which has been growing fine without um, DIY CO2. I've just been dosing um, liquid CO2. And I have like, I guess, Cypress Helferi, the grass plant, Bacopa, and that's a cardinal plant. And I've never, and that's something new that I've never tried before, and it seems to be growing well. So, um, yeah. Like, look at all those shrimps hanging out. I also put some of that rotella in there. It's like this area in the middle is just like, um, like sort of like a mixture of different plants put together, almost like that, um, that stuff that um, uh, Takashi Amano does. I forgot what they're called, but they're like when you put like different plants together in one area, like in in a like in a small like a bunch of different plants together. I forgot what they're called, but like. So I have like three different kinds of plants all in one small tight area right there which is like the Helferi, the Bacopa, and the Rotala all in one space kind of just like growing on top of each other. And then I have like HC here and it's, you can see how high it's grown. It's, it, it has like carpeted all the way to the front. There you go. So uh, that's that's my tank. Um, after two weeks of no maintenance, and it's being overrun by green string hair algae. And I'll show you the other tank with this stuff too. Like, go over here. This tank also has some green string hair algae, and this is not by the window. See that? That's green string hair algae. That's just regular algae, uh, but there's green string here algae here. This also hasn't been maintained for two weeks, so it's long overdue. Um, you can, you can't. It's harder to see the green string here algae because it's, it's like entwined with the plants. Like uh, where is? It? Uh, where is it? Uh, anyway, green string hair algae. Also, like, I'm seeing some de degrade degradation of the plants. Like, I'm seeing holes. Like, see that? Like, like. Seeing brown spot. This, um, I forgot what this is called, the, um, anyway, what the hell. See, yellow leaf, like, why is that yellow? I guess it's, I'm not putting enough, I don't really dose, I don't really dose this tank anymore. Um, it's because I don't, want to spend that I don't have much money I don't have any money to spend on fertile for fertilizations anymore and I don't really sp I don't really want to spend money on fertilizing this this tank because um, I only have the only thing I have is um, liquid co2 which I don't want to use on this tank because it's for that tank and I, I just have flourish except uh, so you can flourish which is like a micro, micro, your micro ferts, and this is what 
This tank basically just gets is uh, flourish. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, flourish. And I'm really just relying on the dirt. There's like dirt in this tank to like to nourish the plants because um, that's all I can really do with this tank for now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ride this tank for as long as I can ride this tank and it's doing like the plants aren't dying they're just like like this plant is kind of just like stunted and the repins are kind of like they get real like the leaves the lower half of the this plant get shed sleeves because I guess it's not getting enough light so and see that one right there it's like it has it has like float off the main stem because it's like the lower stem just just smelted so it's like just like floating now because the main like the lower stem melted so it's just like floating and you can see see that that's green string hair algae I don't know I think that's from the that's from the house plant I think because that's the only thing I can think of really that because before I put the house plant there I never had green string hair algae I had other algae but not green string hair algae so that's it um, I'm gonna probably do a water change later today so um, see you guys have a good day bye <laughs>